Hello, welcome back. So last week was Easter, yeah, but then we couldn't have children's church. However, we decided to bring Easter to you this week. How nice. So we'll be talking about the story of Easter, the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ. Make sure you pay attention and answer the questions. Thank you. Let's go straight into the lesson. Hello boys and girls, this is your teacher Florence Oriraton. I'll be telling you the order of the program for today. How are you by the way? Hope you are enjoying your Easter holiday. Anyway, we're going to start off with the worship and then we're going to have the memory verse and it's going to be followed by the uh, quiz and then we have a lesson. So boys and girls, make sure you pay attention, sit tight and you know, follow every single activity today okay and i will see you at the lesson god bless you and now we go into a time of worship make sure you stand up and praise we have an interesting song to sing it says bless the lord oh my soul i want you to say to yourself bless the lord oh my soul and you know there's a line in that song that says that the sun comes out it's a new day dawning it means that it's time for us to give god praise every time you see the sun remember it's time to give god praise are you ready come on bless the
have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Matthew 21 verse 8 to 9. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees and spread it onto the road. And the cloak and the crowd that went before him and f and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna in the in to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. The story of Easter, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town, You're coming? and Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry just as God said he would many years before. Welcome back, boys and girls, to this Easter lesson. As you can see from the topic, uh, the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. This shows us, you know, and I think the significance of this lesson is the way Jesus entered into Jerusalem. You know, as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, as the man that was going to save his people, you would expect that Jesus was going to go probably on a war horse. So people really know, you know, that he is the, he is the big deal, you know. But no, Jesus didn't go on a war horse. Neither did he go on a, you know, very uh, glamorous kind of um, entry. But he rather he, ch he chose to go on a donkey, a donkey that is, you know, that no one has ever rode on. You know, this is what Jesus chose to ride on in order to, in, to save his people. And it just shows you the heart of the Savior. It shows you the heart of the Father. It shows you the humility of God. 
why loving us so much and why going to die for us he didn't you know really uh, rub it on or, 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 on on our face you know he didn't um go in thinking you know what i'm gonna save you sinners and then you know i'm going to make you really i'm going to you know really show you guys no he didn't do any of that rather he rode on a horse he went and gave his life for us you know he loved us so much and one thing that i want you to believe on our you know this easter period is the love of god i want you to believe you know that christ loves you that god loves you and he will do anything for you he already laid his life down for you boys and girls and he will do much much more if only you will believe so boys and girls i hope you've been blessed by this lesson i'll see you next time and god bless you hello friends how you doing yeah so it was easter last week and i hope you had a nice time so you know what time it is right now it's quiz time and we get into the quiz questions make sure you answer all of them as best as you can so the first question what does easter celebrate what does easter celebrate a the spring equinox b the easter bunny c the resurrection of jesus and if you answered C, the resurrection of Jesus, then you are correct. Next question. Number two, how did Jesus die? How did Jesus die? A, after a boring sermon. B, on the cross. C, of old age. And if you answered B, then you are correct. Jesus died on the cross. Next question. How many days was Jesus dead? For how many days was Jesus dead? A. Two days. B. Three days. C. Four days. Yeah, and if you answered B, then you are correct. Jesus was dead. For Next question. Who or what removed the stone in front of Jesus' grave? Who or what removed the stone in front of Jesus' grave? A. An angel. B. Jesus' disciples. B an earthquake and if you answered a then you are correct an angel removed the stone in front of Jesus's grave next question who was the first person to see Jesus alive who was the first person to see Jesus alive a Mary Magdalene B Joanna C Mary the mother of Jesus And if you answered A, then you are correct. Mary Magdalene was the first person to see Jesus alive. And now we go into the home quiz. You know how we do it. If you have the correct answers, you write them down and send them to our email, the church's email. You know the email. And it's going to be on the screen in a bit. So let's go. First question. When Jesus died, which of the following things did not happen? When Jesus died, which of the following things did not happen? A. The veil of the temple was torn. B. There was an earthquake. C. The temple came to life. C. D. There was a flood that covered the earth. Next question. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' corpse and put it in his own tomb? Who asked Pilate for Jesus' corpse and put it in his own tomb? A. Paul. B. Zebedee. C. Mary Magdalene. D. Joseph of Arimathea. Next question. What is placed in front of the door of the tomb to close it? What was placed in front of the door of the tomb to close it? A. A stone. B. A blanket. C. A wall. D. A fence. Next question and the last question for the home quiz. On what day was Jesus' resurrection? On what day was Jesus' resurrection? A. The 
14th day, B, the same day as his crucifixion, C, the third day, D, the 10th day. And you know how we do it. The first correct answer gets a gift in church. So ask your parents to use the church email, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org to submit your answer. I'll be waiting for you. Make sure you have a nice day. Bye. As always, send your homework in to the church email at kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. Have a lovely, 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 lovely time. Just kidszone at solidrockdublin. As always, send your homework in to the church email at kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. my covenant with you. Like you that our father, father God, God, he's all knowing. That means he knows everything. He went he ahead, everything. He knows tomorrow. And art. He, like I'm so silly. Like you're, you're so seen out. Like you're so guess what? You know, you just need all the same, right?